Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and this is going to be very exciting because in this video, what we're simply going to do is to be creating this party flyer you see on your screen and everything is going to be designed in Canva from scratch. So just in case you're looking at learning something new in Canva, then I think this is the best video you are actually watching. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into Canva and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we need to simply do is first of all come here to create a design okay when you come to create a design you can simply come here into social media okay so once you click on social media make sure you are finding the instagram post four by five that's what you need to look for so once you click on it you should get this kind of dimension okay and i think we can actually get started the first thing we have to do is just to come to background color and we are simply going to make the background black this doesn't look black so we'll just come here and i'll make it you know black pitch black just like what we have right now then come into elements and since i've used some of these elements already i will just show you how you can find them okay so come into i'll just come to my recently see all and you can just search for african woman outdoor portraits okay so the african woman outdoor portrait so click on it and you should have it but let's just see if we would actually find that so african woman outdoor portrait if you search on it you can see we have that over here okay so this is the image you will just come to the bg remover if you are on the free version of canva then i have a free link in, the, in my description box that can help you upgrade to canva pro for free to make sure you're trying that out okay if not you can just use bg remover okay so this is what we have at the moment and i will crop this part off because i don't know who is currently watching me <laughs> anyway so this is what we have at the moment now i want this image to stand out a little bit okay so i'm just going to come to edit and i'll come to adjust the adjust i want to increase the vibrance of this image and the saturation a little bit then the main aspect will come here to increase the sharpness and the clarity also a little bit and this is what we have at the moment okay and i'll increase this image more just so it feels a larger portion of our design now that we have this the next thing we can do is press r on our keyboard okay once you have this you can just change the color first of all to black okay and click on it again make sure you are seeing these slider icons you can see so click on the black again and come into gradient the first color should be black the second color should also be black okay then what you need to do is to come into the transparency and make it zero percent slide it all the way to zero percent okay now choose the linear gradient this is what we have at the moment so after you have this come into position and just rotate it to 180 okay and that's what you should have so you can now put it here and just slide it all the way here so that you know we can have it blend anyway so this is what we have at the moment now let's go back into element and i need it to search for this kind of lights okay it's called the light gradient circle so if you come into element and search for light gradient circle this is what you should have at the moment you should have a lot of this kind of light so you can just choose any of them and you can see what we have so we can position one maybe somewhere here another one here you can duplicate this bring it over here right click come to layer come to show layers okay and we would move it to the back okay so this is what we have right now so i'll just bring this down and yes i think everything is looking very nice now let's add another shape so we have the shape over here we'll keep it here and increase the size okay and make sure you center it if you want to be sure come to position make sure you move into arrange and come to center and you can see it's centered properly right now now let's change the color so come to so come into color and we want to make it a gradient so all it is on yellow okay so we come to gradient and i don't know why yellow and green gets to look this way so make sure you are coming to orange okay and make sure it's at the top to have it hot just like this okay anyway then you can press t 
on your keyboard okay and i'll just place it here i'll just see anything so i'll just see maybe african geek presents okay so you can also see anything of your choice and we come to all caps and no, i just want it to be like this next thing we will do is we can duplicate this okay bring it here and we can just say i'll just say juicy and increase the size okay and just to make sure you know we are not struggling later on let's group these two elements okay so if you're struggling to let's group these two elements so just right click come to layer and show layers okay then you can choose the african geek present this and who shift and choose the background okay right click and come to group so this is just a single element i'll so we'll just move it to the top just like we have right now so we have the juicy and i'll duplicate it and bring it down okay and this will be night okay so maybe juicy night i don't know why juicy night but maybe i think there's a reason <laughs> to juicy night and we'll add another text but we'll just duplicate this and remove the upper keys from it okay and just say out okay so once we come to out we can choose this font which is a ruling pen basic okay and we'll set the color to green and this is the green i'm going to use this is the color code zero f f zero two i think that's the color code okay then we'll place this one right here just like this the next thing we can do is to add some information okay so we we'll just make this smaller okay and it should be in the center so come to arrange and center this and everything should be like this okay so we'll add a date the date we can just say saturday um you know let's say 23rd april 2025 okay so 23rd april 2025 we'll reduce this a little bit then we can duplicate this as well and just place it here okay then location i would can just say to be at the african geek pub and geek pub and this should be an art science so yeah so this is what we have at the moment then the next thing we are simply going to do is duplicate this again and just have i think let's move everything up move things up a little bit okay so this one we can just take the board off and we can just say live activities okay so activities and games okay and i'm also going to change this one to just yellow so we can have any yellow choice we can place it here bring it down and i think we should yeah i think keeping it bold is fine so we can just keep it bold just like this okay now this is looking fine but i think adding extra elements can make it look more interesting so you come to element and just search for squiggle s q u i g g l e this is how to spell the squiggle okay then we just see what we can find so we have this i think this is cool and this can be here and since we have some green over here we'll just use the same green over here then we'll duplicate this okay and just bring it over here like this and just place it here this i can make it yellow okay just like what we have over here so one thing i also want to add is maybe this is free entry okay so we we'll just have this here and just search for free entry okay you can choose anyone that works with you so i'll just choose this and change the color first of all to white then we'll just resize it and you can just place it anywhere at all maybe free entry something like this should be fine and i think we've been able to create something interesting but the last thing i want us to do is to add a texture just to give this a vibe okay or a feeling so just come here and search for texture okay the texture there's so many textures you find but i'll come into photos and maybe choose this one okay we'll increase the size and we'll just reduce the transparency so the transparency we can reduce it to somewhere like 17 percent should be fine okay and i think that's what we have at the moment let me know what you think about this particular design but yes i hope you enjoyed this design i hope it was very easy to follow let me know what you think about this in the comment section below and just in case you're looking for more templates in canva just check the description box below i have a lot of that in there the name is benjamin bush remember there is no limit to creativity and i should see you in my next video peace